fell. Tonight, the man driving the car hit by a rock on I-35 needs your help. Chris Rodriguez's girlfriend was killed after a rock pierced through their windshield, hitting and killing her. And tonight, he wants to find the person responsible, but also the good Samaritan who stopped to help them after. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago is live in the newsroom tonight after speaking with that woman's boyfriend. Well, Robert and Leslie, Christopher Rodriguez says his girlfriend Kayla had the whole entire Saturday planned out. They plan on going to Austin, making a trip with their family, and spending more time with family outside of Waco. They came back home that same night, and he never thought it was the last time they would hang out. Kayla didn't deserve that. Christopher Rodriguez says the last few days have been heart wrenching. He's still trying to process what happened to his girlfriend, 33 year old Kayla Flores. The good times, it's. It's helping me get through the bad times. Uh, it's hard. Rodriguez was driving back home from Austin Saturday night after spending the day shopping with Kayla and her three kids. That's when the unexpected happened. We're just driving down 35, and all of a sudden, you know, just this explosion just comes through the window, you know. Police say someone threw a large rock from the highway overpass, and his girlfriend was sitting in the passenger seat. I turned over to my right, and I look at Kayla, and she's just laying there unconsciously. You know, I'm shaking her, shaking her um, to try to get her up. Rodriguez immediately pulled over and called 911. That's when a driver stopped to help. That meant a lot to me. I mean, it shows that there are good people out there. And then there are cruel people out there. Now the family's demanding answers. I just would want to know why. Why would you want to harm an innocent human being? Rodriguez still in shock, but also hopes to find the stranger who stopped and helped the family during a time in need. I just want to thank them um, in person and tell them thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, police have not identified a suspect, but if you have any information, you are asked to call Temple Police. Now, coming up at 9.30, we'll tell you how the family is remembering Flores during these last few days. Live in the newsroom, Mary Santiago, Fox 44 News.